Right, Paul, you've been, you've been back to Cleve before, your, your, your old club, where you had so many good times, but you, you're coming back again tonight. Talk, talk, talk to me a bit about how it feels to come back. Obviously, you live in Cleve. I spent, I think, 12 years as manager. So what's it like coming back here to uh, take him on? Well, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've got a lot of friends still in Cleve and at the club as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a game that I, I, I was looking forward to. I, was gonna, I picked it out looking at the fixture list. As soon as the fixture list came out, it was the one game that I looked at, oh, when are we playing Cleve? And, and trust it to be the, the first home game for all Steve to be in charge of as well. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, and tell me a bit about your time at Cleve, because when he took over, the club was in a very different state to what it was when he left, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, when I took over, um, I got talked into it by Dave Lewis. Dave Lewis was the manager at the time, and uh, he said, "Look, Collie, would you would you mind taking over?" Which I did. Um, unfortunately, the club then didn't have a ground, so we played an, an awful lot of games away, uh, home games away, the likes of Highworth and um, Gloucester City and Forest Green and Evesham, and various other places as well. Highworth was another one. And it took a long time to, to get the players around me that I wanted. Um, and, and then, but once we got back to, um, to Cape Lane, uh, it, it, it didn't surprise me that season that we won promotion. But then, unfortunately, we then had to play away again at Eversham uh, under, under floodlights because we had no floodlights at Cape Lane. So we had two seasons of playing away again. But no, I've got a lot of fond, fond memories of, of Bishop's Cleave Football Club. It's very, very close to my heart. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, the, your old team basically got back together to play the current Cleve side. Obviously, you had a game that night with Eastrum, so you couldn't be there. But did you did you keep an eye on it? Did you, did you speak to the, the lads who were yeah, back? Yeah, yeah. The, the lads um, rung me and um, and told me what was going on. Um, it was a good idea, and I think they're on the back, uh, making it an annual event. And that that team that we had at Cleve at that time, they were they were a very good good team, and they, we had a, an exceptionally good team spirit. Um, I did actually manage to make and get a drink with the lads after the game uh, in the local pub, but that was about quarter twelve at night time. So I was I was there for last orders. Yeah, so you had a, you had the promotion, got into the Southern League. You also had a FA Cup run. Where you almost got to the first round proper, didn't you? Yeah, it's um, we had a terrific team spirit um, at Cleve. There was a lot of local lads, and there was quite a few lads from around the Bishop's Cleve area as well that played for us then. And you know we won promotion to the to the Southern League, which was the big thing. That was the, th the goal we wanted. And if you'd have said that to me when I first took over at Cleve, that you know um, I couldn't see Cleve being a Southern League setup. Having played at that standard myself, it looked a long way away. So we we, we made massive strides in those years to be able to get there. And uh, they've done well to sustain you know being in the Southern League now. Yeah. How, how did you go about it? Because you you seem to put together a team of experienced semi-pro footballers that have played for teams like Emsley and things like that. Didn't you? But yeah, basically um, it was a case of keeping years to the ground and finding out what was, was available. You know, the lad Rich Clark was a very, very good player for us, centre half, played at a very good standard, he got married, um, had children and he wanted to play local football and I think Richard, uh, you know, he, he's made it known that the, the best time he had playing football was at Bishop's Cleek. He thoroughly enjoyed it and then we had the likes of you know John Skeen in goal and uh, James Vachese come along and uh, Steve Cheel, a few of the local lads that were within the Cleve radius. Uh, I managed to pick up a few of the lads here and there, Casey Johnston being a classic. Um, Casey come along the one year he scored over 30 goals for us. Kevin, Kevin Slack come about. Um, as I said, um, Kevin Slack is a law upon himself and uh, he would be there one minute and not the next, but he was a goal scorer and he scored a lot of good goals and, and was a very important player for us at, at Bishop's Key. And Andy Tucker, I managed to get him to come to join the club from Gloucester City and, and, there was, and there's many more that I've probably forgotten to mention. Anymore. Yeah, when you look back, what sport stands out? You had the Eastbourne game where I think you had a really good crowd. There's some good friendlies against Cheltenham as well. <coughs> yeah, yeah. It, well, the thing with it's like with the, Ch the with the Cheltenham game. Um, it was John Ward that actually approached us um, about coming to to Cleveland, and uh, I, it came as a bit of a surprise phone call. And uh, we looked at it and thought, well, oh, great, we've got Cheltenham Town coming. But the crowd that that evening was over a thousand people, which took us a bit by surprise. And then it turned into an annual game for a few years, and it was good. And I think 
the Cleve people enjoyed it, but more to the point, I think the Cheltenham people enjoyed it, especially the supporters. Uh, it was a, an ideal opportunity for them to get and meet the players a lot closer than what they would have done at Wadden Road. Yeah, and even though you've left now at the break, now you're back in with Evesham, do you, when you drive past the ground or tonight when you're at the ground, do you feel quite proud of when you look, you know, see how much has changed now? It's a nice little setup there now. It? It's, it's a lovely setup, you know, Cleve, Cleve. The, the, one, the one thing that uh, is a disappointment when I was there and even so now is that unfortunately the club have not been able to get the crowds that they, they deserve. Um, like you said earlier about the FA Cup run, you know, we had crowds of 800, 1,000, 1,200 people there. And to play in front of that sort of crowd and, and have that revenue coming into the club would mean an awful lot. Um, you know, Evesh, I took Evesham to Cleve at the end of last season and we played on a Friday evening, which was a good idea. And I think it was over 230, 240 people turned out that night, which was very, very good. And if Cleve could get a crowd like that week in, week out, it would help them immensely.